In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Rudiger row using Chaga. And the main reason why I'm doing this video is because I've had a lot of requests to explain how it was that I came up with a lot of the accelerants that you see being used in my videos. I've already used Chaga in videos before on my channel. It's just that in this video, I'm going to try to explain why or how rather I came up with the idea to use Chaga. Um, I'll let this demonstration play out in the background while I'm talking. Um, probably about three, maybe four years ago when I first discovered this method, all I could find were videos of people demonstrating it from Europe and they were using cotton and ashes. Um, when I first tried this method, I did it the first time I ever attempted it. It was very easy for me to perform. Uh, I got a ember in a matter of probably 10 seconds or so. You know, that was that was just like I said my first time. And to me it seemed as if the embers formed internally due to the friction being created during the rolling process. And since that process of rolling seemed to be very efficient at creating and generating heat, I thought to myself, what could I use on the inside besides uh, ashes? So one of the very first things that I thought of was chaga or other funguses like uh, fomentarius or maybe even possibly the Thalinia species. Um, chaga though was my first thought and I thought well I'm going to go ahead and try that and I tried it and it worked boom right off. I did some videos way back when but I always wanted to do a video to demonstrate it with natural rolling surfaces like you see demonstrated here in this video. Also, you'll notice in this video, it doesn't take very long to get an ember. It works just as well as ashes or rust, which is another one that I came up with, rust being one of my better accelerants that I ever came up with using this method. But anyway, like I said, chaga, it's one of those substances that has a very low ignition point. It's very heat and friction sensitive. It's been used with friction fires before like the bow drill or the hand drill. I've actually used it with both of those and gotten embers fairly easily. But I was happy to introduce another friction fire method using Chaga which is the Rudiger row. Um, but anyway that's how I came upon using this. It's just something that I knew would work and I knew it would work well. And like I said first time I ever tried Chaga with this method, boom. The first thing it just it went off just like that. Within 10 seconds, I got an ember. It worked just as well as ash. But uh, as you can see here, I have a nice ember. And uh, I'm not going to take this to flame. I have plenty of videos where I take this to flame. I just wanted to demonstrate it once more with natural rolling surfaces to show you that you can do this in a wilderness setting. I've actually taken fungus right off of trees and right off the edge of uh, down trees in my area and used it immediately with the root of the row and it worked boom just like that but anyway hope this demonstration and the explanation is uh, satisfactory and uh, I look forward to doing more videos like this where I describe things a little better about how I came up on the accelerants but have a good night and take care